Hello everyone, today's video is on my Dooney and Burke bag. My Dooney and Burke bag. So if that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and keep on watching. And remember to like this video, hit that like button, as well as go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you'll be aware anytime I upload new videos, go ahead and hit that notification bell. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's jump right in. So today I wanted to talk about this lovely bag in my collection, this lovely, beautiful AWOL leather vintage Dooney and Burke bag. This this lovely bag right here. <sighs> I absolutely love this bag in my collection, you guys. I'm such a bag addict as we all are. I absolutely love this beauty in my collection. There is just something about this this AWOL two-tone black and brown against each other, you guys. This AWOL leather in beautiful pebbled leather with the pebbled bl black leather and this beautiful honey color Dooney and Burke AWOL leather, you guys. I absolutely love this beauty in my collection. So I'm loving this crossbody bag. And you know I love vintage Louis Vuitton bags, vintage coach bags, and recently I've just all of a sudden started loving loving vintage Dooney and Burke bags. So it's really, really something when you find a vintage bag in good or excellent condition. Um, you can see from the way this beauty is shining, you guys, she is in such good condition. And you guys know I don't dye or touch up my bags with any type of leather dye or anything. I do use conditioner on my bags, but I haven't done anything to this baby. This was the lovely condition that I was able to acquire her in and I absolutely love her. I can't stop, I can't stop looking at the beauty of this bag. I'm gonna do a comparison upcoming um, with her um, alongside some of my other vintage Dooney and Burt bags. But for right now, I wanted to take the time to give this beauty all of her shine and all of her spotlight all by herself because I love this bag that much. This is a bag that when you wear it, you know, I love when you could put on a vintage bag and, you know, go out, go to the store, go out in public, and it doesn't look like you're wearing an old bag. It, even though it's a vintage bag and people know it's a vintage bag, it still looks modern. I love when you could do that. You don't look old fashioned or dated with this bag. She is in style. She's such in such good condition that she doesn't look beat up or anything. She's in such good shape and in good style. Even the duck. You know, sometimes this uh, vintage duck on an older bag will be all scuffed up and scratched up the brass. Not this baby. This baby right here, you can see how shiny it is on the back. It hasn't been dinged around and knocked around and beat up at all. This baby lasted the test of time, just like I love with some of my Louis Vuitton bags and some of my vintage coach bags. This is the same in this case with this vintage Dooney bag. I like her style. She also, because she's a top handle, she reminds me of like the Coach Cassie or the Louis Vuitton Pachette Matisse because she has the same similar top handle, um, same similar flap. So, um, you know, all the different handbag companies, they kind of have go-to styles that they always go ahead and produce, you know, the same type of styles over and over and over again, you guys. That's what we ladies like. So they just keep giving it to us. They just keep giving it to us over and over again because they know we like it. And if it sells, they're going to redo it. They're going to always do similar styles. But yeah, this is what this baby looks like. Let me give you a whole tour around her. She has a back sleeve lip pocket. This is what the side of her looks like and the bottom, the corners. She really really did go ahead and and you know do good well over do well over the years, do good over the years. So, let me go ahead and show you the interior. I do have her stuffed and the interior is none other than that beautiful raw leather that you guys know I love so so much beautiful raw leather on the interior there she has her strap let me go ahead and take out the stuffing so that we can appreciate the interior of this beauty go ahead and take her stuffing out so this is what the interior of her looks like and you can see how beautiful she is in there the blue and that tan the blue and that beige just looks so so beautiful together she's blue black you know, she looks black, she has hints of blue, and then that beautiful tan and brown is so lovely in there. And you can see her pocket up against the back wall, and you can see her Dooney and Burke tag right there with the serial number is going to be under here. 
That's where her number is under there. And she has that pocket on the interior there, you guys. Another thing about the Dooney and Burke bags that I love, that I absolutely love so much, is that some of them under the pocket, if you look under the pocket, when you find one in really, really good condition, the original owner sometimes doesn't even know that that label, that tag with the serial number, with the style, model, and serial number, a lot of times people wore their Dooney and Burke bag and didn't even know that that label was under there. So they didn't remove it. And then when you get a vintage one like I just did, it still has the original label up under the bottom flap. Isn't that nice? It's so nice when, and I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm not gonna remove that. I just think that that adds so, so much to how beautiful the bag is and the value and the authenticity um, of the bag when it has that original style number as well as the original label um, there, you guys. So she has a twist closure. That's how you secure her with this twist closure. And then she has a beautiful, beautiful honey golden brown strap right here. And the strap is adjustable but it's not removable. So you can't remove her strap, but it is adjustable. So you could wear this baby crossbody or as a shoulder bag. And let me go ahead and give you some dimensions on this beauty. So her dimensions are gonna be, and I haven't measured her yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with you guys. Her dimensions are about 11 inches long. So she is about 11 inches long right here, you guys. She's about 11 inches long. And as far as her height, how tall she is, she's about eight inches tall. So she's 11 inches long. She is gonna be 11 inches long, right here, and about eight inches tall, 11 by eight. And then width-wise, let's see how wide this little baby is. Width-wise, she is about three inches. So 11 by eight by three. So she is about 11 inches long by eight inches tall by three inches wide. So that's a good size. She'll be able to hold a lot of different items. You'll be able to hold your wallet in here, your carry and catch all, your makeup, um, you know, a couple card holders, your eyeglass case, um, your sunglasses and your sunglass case. You know, you'll be able to hold a lot of different items in this bag. So what I want to do is come back. I'm going to come back sometime soon and I want to compare her against some other all weather leather bags in my collection. And we'll just go ahead and, you know, go ahead and take a look at the AWOL, the all weather leather Dooney and Burke vintage bags. And like I said, I'm really having a love and appreciation for these beauties in my collection recently. I just love the pebbled leather and that brown to me is so pretty. Isn't that brown pretty, you guys? I think so. I think the brown on these bags, um, the brown leather, the duck, the beautiful big duck, as well as the brass, the hardware, just some classic bags. I'm just a lover of the vintage uh, bags, you guys. So I can't keep saying that enough. I think you guys know that. So yeah, come on back. Make sure you stay tuned to my channel so that you won't miss out a thing. You won't miss out whenever I come back and I talk about these vintage Dooney and Burke all weather leather bags, maybe do a couple comparisons and we'll go ahead and talk about them some more on my channel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you again soon in another video.